uh, which uh, my father was Frank Whitman, the uh, one of the partners in the development of uh, uh, Whitford Beach. Uh, he was the thirteenth child of the family. The other partner was the twelfth uh, member of the family, and they appear to have had a lot of uh, intermingling with their with their lives. Uh, I think as far as Dad was concerned there was some um, uh, hero worship of his older brother and uh, the other way around I think uh, Archer the twelfth was uh, um, more or less very protective of Dad and helped him as much as he could and this uh, relationship went on throughout their lives. So was your father, you said he was the thirteenth, was that the last? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and could you just give me what your your mother's name? She was. Uh, they met in Kalgoorlie. <coughs> um, Dad was uh, Dad's father. Um, opened the first uh, butcher shop in Kalgoorlie and was a general merchant as well. Um, they ca the family came from Munta in South Australia. Uh, and he, uh, they had a merchant's uh, outfit in um, Munta, but when the um, uh, gold came to Western Australia, was discovered in Western Australia, all the miners left Munta from their tin mining and uh, copper mining and finished up in Kalgoorlie. So, as a matter of you can't beat them, join them. Uh, they were going broke fast because they had no one to sell to. So the uh, eldest brother uh, and dad's father went to Kalgoorlie um, uh, to continue their business there. Um, dad uh, was, uh, was actually born in South Australia and came over here. Um, and uh, he married... Uh, my mother, whose father was brought out to uh, run the trains between Southern Cross and Kalgoorlie. So they're a true uh, West Australian family from that point of view. Um, and uh, she was an Alice King. Mm -hmm. So did they marry in Kalgoorlie? No, they actually married in Perth. Mm -hmm. But they'd known each other. In yes, they grew up as uh, youngsters in Kalgoorlie. Okay. So, how old was your father when he left Kalgoorlie? The, uh, the Whitfords never really owned the land, nor did uh, Willie Simpson uh, at that stage. But uh, uh, Willie Simpson uh, was uh, shown to have been the owner later on. Mm. So, do we know? How much land we're talking about? Uh, yes, there was. Uh, I think it's three thousand. Uh, there was three thousand one hundred and fifty-four acres, with a frontage of one and three quarter miles to the beach front. Do you know whereabouts approximately this land was? Yes, it was, um, well, it, it uh, seemed to stretch from Pinaroo Point up to somewhere near, uh, um, yeah, I think it went beyond uh, Whitford's Avenue, uh, further along the, the beachfront a little way. Okay, so but Pinaroo Point was definitely one of the, uh, the, the landmarks. Okay, so... It probably extended northwards then into where Kalaroo is now. I would imagine yeah. so, yes. Okay. Right. So do you remember, I know you're only quite young, but you did mention that there were three shacks there. Do you remember how um, your father and the family went about getting to? I only heard uh, that they used to drive sometimes along the beach front from the south um, and other times they would come in from, uh, uh, I think it was Mullaloo Drive, 
I remember uh, about 1936 when I was about uh, uh, five, uh, six or seven years of age. Um, for old time's sake, uh, mum and dad wanted to go back and have a look at the beach. And uh, they had a new car, beautiful new car, which was much heavier than the, uh, the old um, 1920-type cars with the huge wheels. And I remember we got bogged about five times trying to get in f over the sand dunes from Mullaloo uh, uh, Road into into the area. It, uh, so how did you get out of the box? <laughs> just dug ourselves out repeatedly. Mm. <laughs> you really wanted to see the beach. Well, well that's right. Yeah. And so do you remember what was there when you went back, when you finally made it? Um, no, I can't remember that, no. It was more fun getting out of the ball. <laughs> well, I, we might not have even uh, got to the beach, and we were so desperate at the time. Mm. Okay. There's uh, pictures here the family have of, uh, of the old shack on the beach, and uh, uh, I've heard all the stories many times about uh, the uh, fishing round the... Uh, the, the rocks, Little Rock, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, fishing in the Blue Hole, etc. Um, I honestly believe that uh, the wonderful Whitford Sea Rescue Service is the answer to Mum's dreams, but it, was, it took another 40 years <laughs> before it was developed. <laughs> Why is it the answer to her dreams? Well, they used to get out there uh, fishing on the reef with a and uh, get the boat swamped and have to bail it out and so forth. Um, neither Dad nor half the other people in the boat could swim.